uh, I like to think of these as, as uh, in some ways, as an exercise in multi-dimensional song literature. Uh, many of these figures are literally self-portraits, but all of them have, all of the figures have elements of me in them. A little while ago, I read the sentence, everything in the dream is the dreamer, uh, which I thought was a great phrase and something that I, I thought was really apt to really apply to, to what I'm doing. Um, I mentioned this uh, to someone recently who seemed a little bit surprised that I would identify with uh, attracting young women, particularly ones without a lot of clothes on. Uh, and this person said something to the effect of, you mean like a, like a transvestite thing? Like, is that how I related to this? Uh, the answer to that is no, incidentally. Uh, it, it's actually, I, I see it as a very run-of-the-mill kind of uh, thing for an artist to use surrogate forms to express some dimension of their experience that, that anything too conventional wouldn't allow them to express. You know, like the, some examples of that were like Johnny Cash using the fatalism of, a, of an enemy to describe some dimension of his experience, or, uh, Quentin Tarantino giving voice to the inner musings of hitmen, or uh, James Joyce and having the oversexed mind and body of the uh, adulterous singing star, Molly Bloom, from his book, uh, Ulysses. You know, there's a very famous last chapter, which is a one, one long run on sentence. It's an interior monologue, uh, kind of his most famous bit of stream of consciousness writing. Um, and you know, there, there are elements of representation, but there are elements of self portraiture as well. There's something very kind of, uh, just very human about it all. So, uh, the correlation for, for me, the, the relationship and, and the, 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 the bit of, um, I guess what I'm trying to get into here is it, it hinges on the issue of beauty. Artists, just like models, actresses, or anyone else whose looks define them to an, or, to an inordinate degree are valued by culture based on their ability to manifest beauty. Additionally, I think it's normal for artists and models to develop a kind of symbiosis. Uh, even if a painter doesn't identify with the condition of the model, because the model becomes the vehicle for so much of what is expressed, I think it's impossible for any painter of intelligence and feeling not to form a strong sense of identification with the models that they work with, and, and not necessarily in a, in a transvestite. Um, in this particular work, I appear as both artist in quotes and model. Uh, and the reason I put artist in quotes is because uh, this is kind of a artist caricature. It's a it's a, a character uh, that uh, I think of as, as like an artist in the form of a, of a Machiavellian businessman or politician. Um, you know, I want this big, and this is the one. Uh, um, I want this figure to be not only ridiculous, clearly megalomaniacal. Uh, it's a representation of what I hope not to become, as I mentioned, in the realm of commercial art. It's like a like a worst case scenario future self portrait, kind of, which uh, uh, I, I privately call this character the executive, uh, and I think of him as uh, kind of a cross between. Uh, Charles Foster Kane from Citizen Kane and uh, Dick Cheney. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, another thing, see, I remember when I was in college, I saw this video of uh, Julian Schnabel. Uh, he was, he was uh, in this, this old, in the video clip from the 80s. Uh, he was, uh, he was wearing, wearing, he was decked out in an um, Armani suit, surrounded by this huge throng of people, there are flash bulbs going off, and he's he's got sunglasses on too. This is like indoors, but he's wearing sunglasses in our suit. And he's flinging paint around on this on this giant tarp. Uh, and I just thought, I just remember thinking, this is this is so horrible. I mean I was such a purist at that time, and it just seemed like uh, what you know what TV people would call it, a jumping the shark moment. The history of arts jumping the shark moment. It's just it's it's just a, a level of, of kind of ridiculousness, and um, to me, there's there's an element in, of that that I'm interested in the art world, and it's something that I, I not only want to be kind of at a low level, kind of percolating through these works, but this character in particular is supposed to kind of represent that spirit. That makes sense. Um, like a film director.
director with 